Hey girl, I see you out here in these streets walking around in your thousand dollar shoes, walking like Tu Wong Fu. Mm -hmm. Your feet hurt, don't they? <laughs> I know they do, because my feet be hurting too. But today, I'm going to help you. I'm here to help, okay? Because I have figured out something. It took me 40 years yeah to realize this thing right here that beauty beauty is really not pain that's a lie somebody told women that and we just ran with it right i am so guilty i have been so guilty of putting shoes on my feet that did not belong on my feet they said they were my size but they didn't feel like my size they felt like they were two sizes too small but i didn't care because they look good on me. <laughs> so today I'm going to share with you ladies my love of Oxfords. You guys know, you've probably heard me talk about how much I live for an Oxford, okay? So why is this thing up here? Well, because I had to tell y'all my Lubu dream story, okay? I have to share that before I... I share how I wisened up and why I wisened up, okay? Because I, like most girls, most women, had red bottom shoe dreams, right? Um, I'm from a country town. I'm just going to keep it real. And where I'm from, I never seen anybody walking around in a pair of shoes with red paint on the bottom. Would have got my attention. I never saw it. The most expensive store that we actually had where I grew up at was the Jones store. Sleep on that. <laughs> and then the Jones store went away and Dillard's was the most prestige store you could go shopping at. And if you shopped at Dillard's, oh, you were the cream of the crop. Like you worked for the government or, you know, the state or the federal, some, you know. So the very first time I ever saw women in shoes with red paint on the bottom of them, was on The Housewives of Atlanta, Nene and her crew, when I first started watching that umpteen years ago. And I said, when I saw them sit down and cross their legs, I said, I want some shoes with red paint on the bottom of them. So, all my life, well, not all my life, but I was, I was like, I'm, get, I'm getting a pair of red bottoms. I'm getting a pair of red bottoms. So... One year, my husband asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And I said, well, what can I have? And he said, you can have anything you want. You can have whatever you want. And I said, well, I want some shoes with some red paint on the bottom of them. He was like, okay, shoes with red paint on the bottom of it. And then he saw the price of them. He was like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, you can have those. <laughs> so the very first pair of red bottoms that I ordered were Alamets. And... I think I told this story in a shoe video before how I ordered them so that they would arrive before Christmas because I was going to kill everybody at Christmas dinner. I was going to step up in Christmas dinner like I was NeNe Leaks, okay? <laughs> but the shoes showed up at my house, y'all, and I couldn't get my foot in them. Couldn't get my foot in them, right? And they were my size. I didn't know that Lou don't like me. <laughs> Lou doesn't respect me. I did not know that he didn't create shoes that were actually made for the Eva Monroe who has had a double bunionectomy. He don't make shoes for my feet, okay? So I took him back to Neiman's and I got my size, right? I wore the shoes out. I died in those shoes and came back to life three times that night. <laughs> no kidding, okay? My feet felt like they were bleeding at the end of the night. And ladies, you know when your feet hurt, you can't be nice to people. You can't. If someone says good morning and your feet hurt, you're like, good, what, well, what the hell is so good about the morning, huh? And they just walk by you like they're wearing isotone or slippers and you're mad at them because they got on shoes that don't hurt their feet. Ladies. But that I didn't learn my lesson with the elements, okay? I donated the elements to a fashion show, for to a charity event. Because I was like, some some fool got to have these. I give these to some girl who has Lubu dreams so she can let that go after she wears these. <laughs> I gave those away. And then I got these. 
$995 worth of sexiness, right? For 10 minutes. <laughs> These are 10 minutes. I can wear these for 10 minutes, okay? And that's it. 10 minutes I get in these shoes. So, but that wasn't enough. I was like, okay. I played around with the sexy strut. I need a pair of Lubus that I can wear every day. I am wear them to Walmart when I'm trying to stun on them in Walmart. When I got my Raja Creation E on, I want to put these on my feet and I'm going to go kill them softly and... Yeah, no, you don't make it through the produce section and these at Walmart, sugar. $885 here. So, you do the math here. Lou don't like me, okay? So, I said to myself, I was always guilty of buying cheap shoes previously in a past life and I didn't care. And like I said, I've had a double bunion neck to me, so I tried to, I've always tried to be nice to my feet since I've done that. That was in 2011, and I did that. I'm going to keep it real. I did it because I wanted to wear beautiful shoes, but that's not how it goes. If y'all need me to do a video on having a double bunion neck to me because you're thinking about it, I will. I can, I have never been able to wear even the shoes that I wore before I had my bunion surgery. I cannot even wear those shoes anymore. So... I discovered the amazing Oxford. Now, my very first pair of Oxfords were, I've shared these before. These have been my day ones, my ride or dies. These, I've kind of, I've somewhat retired these because I kind of got a little bougie, y'all, where my Oxfords are concerned. But <laughs> these are Calvin Klein's. I'm telling you, and I still, I still wear these, okay? I love these. But from the moment I wore these, I wore these with a suit. It was a casual, like, floral pants suit, ankle length slacks. I wore these shoes with it. It was kind of when I had first got the shoes. And I went out and I went to this lounge situation. And one guy comes up to me. He's like, I love your shoes. Your shoes are killing it. And I'm like, well, thank you. Thank you. These old things. Two guys, three guys. Four, oh, I love your shoes. Beautiful shoes. Good shoes. What are those? Good shoes. And I was like, child, wait a minute. Wait a minute, brothers. Wait a minute here. I thought, I thought you needed to see me in this. <laughs> I thought this was what you liked. What, what's the deal here? So I was like, you know what? We own to something here, okay? So, I love these. I live for these. I was scrolling on Amazon one day, and, or not Amazon, Facebook, and on my timeline pops up this lady by the name of Angela Scott, and she has shoes. And I'm looking at these shoes, and I'm like, I'm picking out the pairs that I'm going to get. I'm like, ooh, I like those. I'm getting those. I'm getting those. She had colorful Oxfords. She had like wing tips and I'm like I'm getting all and then I go to her website and I'm like oh wait wait hold up that's like that's my 401k that's 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 not gonna happen so I said one day I'm going to get myself a pair of Angela Scott Oxfords and this was the first pair that I got when you talk about shoes now, let's be clear about something. I'm not paid by the office of Angela Scott. This is not a endorsement video. They don't know me. They need to, but they don't know me. Um, I just love their shoes. This is a whole nother level of a shoe, ladies. And when you put your feet, when, first of all, when you purchase something like this, which is 500 bucks nearly, and then you put your feet in them, in my opinion, there's no greater feeling in the world. And I will be in these for the rest of my life. If I get to the point to where I can't walk anymore, they can still put these on my feet and I can still be cute and stylish in my little geriatric bed or wherever I am. Um, I will have these forever. These are something, they can be resold. They can be passed down to your children, to your grandchildren. Um... These are an investment. And in my opinion, these are an amazing investment. Because even more so than the Calvin Klein Oxfords that I showed you guys, 
I cannot wear these anywhere without men and women alike asking me, oh my God, what are your shoes? Where did you get those? I love your shoes. Your shoes are gorgeous. So this is a purchase that I, I will never in life regret these. I mean, look at these. Look at the detailing on the bottom of the shoe. The little nails and the stitching and the sole. I mean, this is something that... I, I was more than glad to purchase these. And, and I will definitely purchase more shoes from her. Now, these were the first pair of Angela Scott's that I purchased. And the second pair that I purchased were these. And now I'm going to tell you something about these because I purchased the Oxford in a 39. And I felt like they were just a little teeny bit big on me. So when I went for these, I went 38 and a half. And it should have been the other way around because these run a little more narrow than the other ones do. Um, but what I did was I used my handy dandy stretcher. And what I do with this is I will get one of those little teeny tiny ankle socks and I'll soak it in alcohol and I put the sock on this and I slip this in the shoe and that will help to stretch it out a little bit. After you stretch it, when you take this out, you want to wear the shoes like as many times as you can because if you don't, if you automatically take that out and then put your shoe tree right in it or put it on the shelf with nothing in it, it's going to revert back to its original size. So you want to wear the shoes a few times to get them, you know, to fit your foot. I love these. These are from Amazon. They actually come with the little knuckle things that you can put in there for like if you have bunions or whatever. So these are, these are amazing as well. I use these in my heels. I use these whenever I need to stretch, uh, stretch shoe out, stretch your shoes at home. You don't have to take them to the cobbler. Um, you can actually even do it just on your own feet. You don't have to do those. But I like those because I'll leave them in there for like a day or two and just let them marinate. So, the office of Angela Scott. Look, these are croc embossed. Oh, the, just an amazing, gorgeous shoe, right? So, I did a video about... um how I, I did a video showing me restoring a shoe and I'll link that video in the description box below if you didn't get a chance to see it but it was actually this Carmina Oxford that I restored I got these for, off of Poshmark from a girl and they were broke busted and disgusted <laughs> but I knew she had them on there for like they were like dirt cheap and I was like "Ooh, those are Carminas and I knew that if the sole was worn, I could have them resold, but it's not. The sole is perfectly intact. The heel is perfectly intact, but I knew that I could restore them. So that was what I did. And once I wore these, I said, I absolutely, positively must have another pair of Carminas. And so my second pair that I went with, let me get the, these need to be repolished. Y'all, look at these. Please look at that. I just, my heart just skips a beat and starts singing and dancing. And let's, I have my, I have a dust rag over here. Um, cause I don't want y'all to be like, oh, she's putting all them dirty shoes. <laughs> oh, my heart. Get, will you get, your, get your whole life with this? thing right here oh how gorgeous now when I wear these people who know who Angela Scott is they always ask me if these are Angela Scott's and I'm like no they're Carmina's but I do have some Angela's but no they're Carmina's and listen when I tell you guys Carmina makes a hell of a shoe they make a hell of a shoe again these are an investment but these are something that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. I'm never going to have to replace these. Every time they get creases in them, I'm going to get the creases out. When they get dull, I'm going to repolish them. I'm going to shine them. I'm going to give them love and TLC. Now, if you order any pair 
of these shoes that I've shown you today and you get them and the tip of them is not shiny like the tip of mine don't fret don't worry it is because I polish my shoes and you guys saw me do that in my shoe restoration video I have become obsessive about that and I, I have just I've started to love doing it like I'll sit there with my headphones on in front of TV and just go to work this is my kit right here it has all my creams and everything in it now these are the only shoes that I actually have a special polish and a special cream for because typically I will use brown black or neutral but on these I had to buy red I had to buy a red cream and I had to buy a red polish I bought them both from Saphir which is amazing their shoe care products are amazing they stand above um oh they stand so far above what what's the uh kiwi so i definitely prefer them over kiwi but if you don't have access to saphir then whatever you know you can find but carmina like oh they smell, they smell so good <laughs> they smell so good okay let's go down i know y'all like okay chick enough with the five six hundred dollar shoes I showed you guys these in my um watch I or well, actually I have not even posted that video yet I did a, a video about a wooden watch that I got actually let me show you guys this watch a company sent me this watch and I haven't posted the video yet but it is from the company tree hut and y'all wait till I publish the video to to buy if you so desire but um <laughs> i i live for the bottom of these shoes the bottom of these shoes is like a work of art and these are so stylish and so sleek and just ridiculously adorable right i have not worn these yet but i cannot wait to pull something little something something together here i love those those actually sell for about 60 bucks oh they're ralph lauren i don't know if i mentioned that those are actually ralph lauren okay now another pair of affordable oxfords these because they don't make my calvin klein oxfords anymore the ones that i'm head over heels in love with these are not they don't make these anymore but the closest thing that i found to these and i showed these in my how to style an oxford video are Louise Etsy's and these are patent leather but I I just I love these I find these to be absolutely amazing they're so cute I don't have many patent leather shoes because you know they're already shiny and once they start to crease and and do things like that it, especially if they're not really expensive it's kind of hard to do your thing at home with them so i don't have a lot of patent leather shoes but i really like these i feel like they're so feminine and girly and they have like ribbons as the shoe string a very nice shoe um if for those of you who don't know louise etsy is actually a member of the camuto family vince and all those fine folk over there okay another favorite of mine these are bomos and i i really like these i think these are super duper cute they're wing tip they're a little more rounded off in the toe than i like my shoes to be and let me tell you why i'm not really i don't really like a, a, a completely rounded off toe it's because i'm a shorter girl and so when you are really short and you wear rounded off toe shoes it makes you look kind of short and stumpy so your toe should really if you can it should really be as pointy as you can possibly get it but these go with the right attire like you have to have the right slack on with these to pull it off when you're really really short so if you didn't know that if you're really short that's something to think about even with high heels when you are short and you wear high heels with a round toe it really kind of makes you look stumpy and frumpy but these are absolutely amazing these are bomos um i think these these can sell for like 
one something, two something around in there, but they're super duper comfortable. And I love these. And my biggest piece of advice, if you order these, would be to size down. I probably like a half a size because they run slightly big. Okay, let me share. I have two more that I'm going to share with you guys. And then we're going to go um, do other things today. Okay, I have two more pair. Now, these are absolutely the cheapest pair ever. And they're probably like two of the cutest pair I own. These are made by Micon, y'all. And I've showed you guys these in a video before. They're super duper cute. They're stylish. You can find these on Amazon for like $79. I will try to find the link to them. But let me tell you the greatest thing about these. These are ridiculously comfortable. They feel like you're walking on air. You see the bubbles on the inside of there? I'm, I'm telling you, when you put these shoes on your feet, you're like, oh my God, this, this, is, this is how life is really supposed to be, okay? And then these, these are cute, but I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, okay? These are not comfortable. <laughs> They're not so comfortable. They don't hurt. They're not painful, but they're just not, they're not as comfortable as the Bomos and they're not as comfortable as the Angela Scott's, but they look cute. And I mean, when I say cute, this is like a sexy little throwback vibe right here, right? This is a whole mood, okay? I wore these with a black and white pinstripe suit. I thought I was on the Janet Jackson video. Y'all remember that Janet Jackson video when she had the pocket watch and the whole, what was that? Leave it in the comment section below. These are super cute. These are Nine West. They come in all different um, colors and textures. They come in metallics. Now, if you are a skinny heel girl like me, I just recently learned I was a skinny heel girl. Who knew? Your heels will flap <laughs> out of the back of these. And what I do is I have some of those um, heel pads and I just stick one of those in around in the back of there and I, I wear them with that so that my heel will stay in the back of the shoe. Because listen, there's nothing worse than an ill-fitted shoe being too big. It's almost worse than when your shoes are too small. Like you can fake it till you make it sometimes when your shoes are too small, but when they're too big... There's nothing you can do to hide that, especially when you take off walking and you forget and then you either leave the shoe behind or people can see like your heel slipping up out of the, yeah, that's not cute. So, <laughs> but these are absolutely a whole vibe. Again, I would, I would size down just a half a size in these, if you get these, especially if you're a part of the skinny heel committee. So, so thank you ladies so much for watching me today. Remember comfort over everything this dude right here he doesn't respect me he don't respect my flow and what i'm trying to do in life <laughs> these are for women who are being carried everywhere they go and and i'm just not i'm not one of those women um i want to when i'm looking cute and i have good shoes on i want to be able to walk around and and show the world so yeah i don't know try it for yourself i mean if you have a pair of Louboutins and they're 100% comfortable for you, you don't have a problem walking in them, you can stay in them all day long. Leave it in the comments section below. By the way, these are, these are 40s. 40s. Now, I just told y'all my 39s and Angela Scott were a wee bit too big for me, but I got to get a 40 and a Louboutin. Yeah, these are 40s and these are absolutely going to end up on the mark one day Poshmark that is so look out for them. all right <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching me today until I see you again be blessed and bye for now